Hey, what's going down, my fellow YouTube viewers? This figure reviews 411 come back at you with a quick little modification slash review update of a uh, new pickup I got. Little mail call here. And uh, as you can see right off the bat, it is the SH Figure Arts Batman figure from the Injustice line. Um, and it's obviously, you can see, I switched out the head, the cape. I believe it looks a, a tad bit better. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it looks really nice. Head's a little loose, right here. Just put a little bit of tape, it still won't hinder articulation, you see that? The neck, sadly, I had to sacrifice its, its articulation just to get the cape in there, which was a bummer, very big bummer. But, ah, it's, I think it's a lot better, because you had this head here, and uh, all you had to do was plug it in there. It's a little tight, that you hear it click on there. See? It fit nicely. It looks kind of funny. I didn't like the black eyes in there. I believe Batman always has white eyes. I think it looks cooler that way. Anyways, the quick little thing I wanted to do, if you guys plan on picking this guy up, seriously, you're going to want to drill the holes in the hands a little bit bigger. Okay? So let me show you an example. Listen carefully. Hear that? Okay. Oh, grab it from here. Boom. Little click in and out. Why I'm showing you this is because originally it was very, very tough to get on there. Look. This one, I don't think I, dr I drilled it yet. Look at that. See that? You guys are seeing that, right? Oh, boy. Let me focus. Focus. I'm, I'm not trying to put as much force as I can, but it's moving the joint up and down. So that... That can risk this breaking on you guys, you know, and these things are a little delicate. That's another bummer thing about the head, actually, now that I mentioned it. I put that guy back here. Look at that. It snapped on me. I was so bummed out on that one. It looked warped, so I just, you know, I, I messed with it a little. I didn't even give it a good force. I just barely tapped in. Boop! The little horn ears have uh, broke on me. So this is the same thing with these plastics. What you'll want to do though, just to fix that issue, and you won't ever have to do anything again, this is a scissors, okay? A giant scissors. Put it on one of the blades, stick it on the twist. Okay? You'll see some black stuff come out of it. As you can see there, it's a little carved in now. You're just making the hole wider. You're blowing it just so it could, uh, get all the excess blackness out of there black plastic try it again voila no struggle you see that no struggle it won't break on you easily replaceable hands now with no breakage of or risking of breaking moving on I did a lot of research before picking up this guy to make sure it wasn't a bootleg and it's not a bootleg. There's a bendy wire in here that actually moves. It's this grapple gun wiring. And also it was mentioned that they should be metal screws in these plastic hinges. And there are. As you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there it is. You see that silver tipping on the top right here? Right here. That shows that it's legit. Also, you get this alternate head here. And you see the, the detail, the carvings in there? That's legit. Usually the, the bootlegs have smudgeness all over. And it was it looked like a very crappy bootleg. I honestly didn't want it at all. I, I had to get a legit one. And I wanted one that was articulated. Has multiple hands. Which this Batman does have multiple hands. Right here. See? I'm going to do the same thing. Because I haven't carved these out. That's all you got to do. Boom. Very nice. Put this head back on here. Put on my hand. Put on an open hand right here. And put this one. There you go. See that? Still articulated. Woohoo. And for your, f uh, whoop, this head. I got to put some tape on that. It'll stick on there. It looks better that way, honestly. Ow! These things poke. Watch out with that. 
for your figure comparison height. Oh, 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 stand, 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 stand. No, oh, Bobo doesn't want to stand. There it is. Yeah. I don't know why, if you get Boba in hand, he looks huge. But you put him next to an, an import, SH Figure Arts, he's still shorter. His proportions are bigger, I'm not going to lie. His proportions are way bigger. He's still a great figure. I don't care what anybody says. It's nice. Yeah. And Batman's huge anyways, you know? So what, what else do you expect? He's a big guy. You know, kind of an intimidating kind of guy. So, my final thoughts. If you guys can, pick this dude up for the cheap, because I paid about 35 bucks for it, or 40 I don't know, I got it on the best offer. It was like 35 to 40 bucks. I had to modify it. Um, you want to heat up the neck before popping that out. That way, um, it's easier to plug back in and out. It was a little tough, and you're going to want to take off that piece. It's a piece that sticks back here, because this plastic cape stuff... I honestly don't like it. He looks funny with it. You don't get to articulate it as much. This is the perfect Batman right here. So, that's my review, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay cool. Keep collecting. Adios.